Yeah, this is uh, Shadow. I think it's Shadow Fox from Foxy Tales. That is just, um, just a mask with really long, long uh, fibres there to use for, for tails. So it's just got this really good <laughs> silvery colour with the black tips.
this bit I'm just putting um, in places where a gill would be, just kind of to represent a little bit of red behind the gills really. It's just um, me being, I don't know, I'm, just a bit, I'm a bit like, I've just got to look, trying to like make it look as much like a fish as I can. And I think it sometimes just puts a little bit of um, colour into it for a target really. So just a little bit there. Just make sure that's all secured in and I'm actually going to whip off there. So that's actually the end of the tie. Now I just need to um, make it up with the bug one to give it the body. So this one's just the, uh, again the thin one, just to coat it to hold it all in place. Okay, now this bit requires a bit of a steady hand. Um, just using this little kind of fine tip just so I can uh, place it where I want it. So a little bit down the back. And then what I tend to do is turn it upside down, get a bit of gravity on it. Just work the bubble on where you want it. <laughs> And then do the same on the other And again, just work the bug bond into place. <laughs> yep, yeah, build up the body to make it look like a little fish body. We're just going to do one little, um, we shouldn't need to do too much to it to be honest, um, but we're just going to put some eyes on it in just a second. So that's been good. So now that's all dry. Now I'm just going to use these little, um, these little eyes here. Just make sure they're fairly in line and then again a little bit of the runny bubbles. Just either side of the eye. Just to hold them in place. We may have to do that a little bit a few times just to build, just to hold them in place really. Then just turn it over and just work it into the shape you want it. Okay. Oh, we're done. 